Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my update for Nightmare on Penning Street. I think I skipped last month because I had a couple of rollouts and I didn't know what to put in their place. So I think I just, I was like, okay, let's just forego filming this month. And now I am coming at you with my May update but today is june 2nd so i am behind um yesterday was my mom's birthday so i took her to disneyland um and it's just been she has been busy around here so um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and get into it this was created by my girl val and jaylon and they had a ton of prompts based on like scary movies and things like that and i'm a little scaredy cat but i do like watching scary movies um, I just realized I forgot a product, but that's fine. It's fine. Okay, so for Misery, um, I was working on, I am working on my Do of the Gods primer. You guys, I'm almost done with it. I'm very excited. This will be an empty for this month, for June. So I'm very excited. I actually really like this. Um, it's really nice. I like the texture a lot. Um, next for seven, this is the one that is, that I forgot to bring. So it's the I Do Care Very Groovy Brightening Glycolic Wash Off Mask. I think I have about this much left. So maybe if I get on it, I can have it done by, um, in my June empties as well, but I'm not sure. Um, but I have been using it. Um, oh, I waited at on 5.3 when I intended to film and it was at 74.6 um, grams. Get out, I have my Saint Lux highlighter. My goal is to finish that. It is in lotions currently. So I'll just, I guess, show you guys when it's done. Next, uh, for Triangle, a never ending product that is credit to Leah Embel. And I brought in my Bobbi Brown Luxe Middle Rose Eyeshadow Palette. And I am working on the shade uh, Pink Blossom. So I have a decent dip here. I hope you can see that. Um, so I hadn't set a goal for it yet, but I think my goal is just going to be to track progress and see how far I can get. Um, if I hit pan, then I will roll it out for something else. Um, that is mostly my intention, but we'll see. I'm just kind of tracking for now. Um, next for Sweeney Todd, um, I, oh dang it, I forgot to, okay, I brought in, it's a hair product, and I brought in my Moroccan Oil Oily Scalp Treatment, and I brought it in to use 13 times, and I have used it five, so I have eight more to go, and I only use this, like, very, not very often, as you can see. Um, so we're just gonna keep working on that one. I just showered today and I didn't use it. So um, next, my for Beetlejuice, my Surat Duo. I wanted to use each shade uh, six times, and I this is so neglected. I don't even want to reach for it. <laughs> the top one I used once, and I didn't like the way it looked, so I used it more as like a base um and it's already drying up i haven't even had it for a year i think and then this is the bottom shade so that one i need to start using um next oh i only use the top once the other one i haven't used yet um doo -doo -doo. let me see what was still in here oh one miss call my la girls um my LA color, sorry. Um, eyeliner in Manic. I have used it 12 out of 13 times. So hopefully next month this will roll out. And then let me see what else is still in here from last time. Um, I might have forgotten to pick my last item. It's okay. I'll put it in the description box. Um, okay. So, my rollouts are several. Um, let's see, let me scroll down. So, for the Curse of La Llorona, I had put in the Peach and Lily Glass Veil Mist. And I used it 13 out of the 13 types. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and then for the Hills Have Eyes, I finally used my Ilia Liquid Shadow the 13 times. So that one is rolling out. For Event Horizon, I used um, this Hourglass Lippy in zero um, five times. For Rosemary's Baby, I used my MAC Glow Play Blush 13 times. It, used, it looks like I haven't even touched it, but it's very pigmented. Um, next, I actually have an empty, which I'm pretty excited about. For Fright Night, I finished off my Valentino Deluxe Size V Lighter in the shade Rosa, I think. I actually really enjoyed this. Um, I thought it gave a really nice glow to the skin, but it is spendy, so... Enjoyed using it, wouldn't purchase because it's really expensive, <laughs> but happy to have an empty. And then the last one for Scream, I used my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base the 13 times. So this is going to last me a good while. And I do have another one, another full size. Um, so yeah, those are my rollouts. So I am rolling in several new prompts. Um, let's see... Okay, the first one is for the Exorcism of Emily Rose, an item that makes you levitate on cloud nine. And I'm actually bringing in three products, three of the same. Um, this is the St. Jane Luxury Sun Ritual. It's a pore smoothing SPF. Um, so I have three little like deluxe size samples and I just got a full size in my um, Ipsy Icon box. So I'm really excited about that. So I want to knock these out and just jump on over to the full size because I really, I really like these. Um, so those are in to finish. Let me write it in. Uh, sunscreen primer. Okay, next, Bride of Chucky, a makeup product you could use or have used for bridal makeup, and that is credit to Project Beauty. And I want to bring in just like a facial mist. Um, this is the Volition Screen Screen Time Hydra Mist, um, and I do want to finish it. So I used it today, which is why the mark is not accurate. But I want to finish it, hopefully, like this is what the, the mist looks like. It's pretty fine. It's nice. I like it. I'll weigh everything after I film. I just wanted to get this up. Um, next, Sleepaway Camp, a product that wasn't what you expected, and that is credit to Leah Embo. And for that one, I'm bringing in my Pharmacy 10% Waterless Vitamin C Serum. I thought it was going to be like a serum, you know, the typical consistency of a serum, but this feels more like an oil kind of and it smells weird I don't like the scent of this I think Danny said it smells like hot dog water and she is right <laughs> um not a fan it is an airless pump so I'll see if I can mark it but I am gonna try and finish this um the project does end on Halloween so I have about like five months or so um so we'll see depends how much I want to use that <laughs> Next, the Omen um, 666. Use six pens in a palette six times. I had brought this in last when I intended to film, so I've already used this several times. Um, let me see if I can pull up. Okay. Let me see. The first, the first shade I've used once, two, two, um, Where is the fourth? One and one. I haven't touched this one yet, but I really, really like this color story for right now since it's getting warm. So it's the perfect time to use it. Um, and then for Frankenstein, a Franken product. Um, like him, I don't really franken because it doesn't usually come out the way I want it to. So I'm just going to pick two items that I typically use together. This is the e.l.f. 16-hour um, Camel Concealer Matte Finish in Light Peach. And this is the Bobbi Brown um, Skin Full Cover Concealer in Sand. This one is too dark and this one is a little too light. So... When I use them, I like to use these together, um, and I would like to use this combo 13 times. 
Um, and then for the Blair Witch Project, an item that you'd wear on a makeup, no makeup day. And I would like to bring in my Pixie by Petra Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach. This one, I kind of just want to track the progress. Um, I have, um, I use this on a daily basis already, so I would rather just kind of track it and see, see how far I can get. So because I have accumulated at least like three, this one and the two Bobbi Brown color correctors this year. So I need to work through them. So yeah, I just want to like track my progress there um, and see where we end up at the end of the project. But that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching and being patient with my sporadic uploads. Um, but yeah, thank you so much and I will catch you on my next video.